Hello, welcome to our Clip Studio Paint tutorial. In just 13 minutes, we will explore how to make digital drawings and corrections, vector sketches, and review the tools this product offers for comics. This product is available for Windows, Mac OS, iPad, and Android through a 30-day free trial period before either a subscription or a perpetual license. In this video, we will use the EX version, covering all aspects except for pages, 3D modeling, and animations. When launching Clip Studio Paint, you get into the Home section, offering news, tips, and free materials, or assets, for your projects. Switch to Projects to get your recent work saved, and to Draw to start with a new project. Select the new project format between Illustrations, Comics or Animations, and pick any ready preset. Below, customize the canvas size, its resolution, and even its basic color, then go to OK. The new project opens on the main interface with the canvas on the center and several panels around that you can hide and show with the arrow buttons and open or close from the Window tab above. You can also import other files such as Photoshop PSD or images by going to File Open. Each file is represented as an independent canvas project with its own tab at the top and several objects shown under the Layers panel on the right. A new project is made by a paper layer as background and an empty raster layer for your drawings. You can hide the paper layer with the eye icon to draw and work on a transparent background shown as a checkerboard pattern on the canvas. Let's see how to draw. On the left side, you get the Tool Palette, where each button collects a set of tools shown under the Sub-Tool Palette, with all options under the Tool Property Palette below. Select the Raster Layer, and enable the Pen or the Marker Tool to drop bold strokes by clicking and dragging on the canvas. Adjust Style, Properties, and Brush Size from the left. You can also access to a wider array of brush styles from the Material panel on the right. Just download any from the community and import it by dragging and dropping it onto the Subtool palette. From the bottom left corner, click on any square to save any color from either the color wheel or anywhere by holding down the right click. At this point, select the right square to brush with its color. Make sure to undo any brush with Ctrl or Command and Z. Enable the Pencil or the Pastel tool for softer strokes, the Brush tool for special styles like watercolor or oil painting, and the Airbrush tool for sprayers and droplets. Choose Decoration to drop sparkles, glitters, or entire chains, and enable the Eraser tool to remove brushes by brushing over these. All these drawings belong to the same raster layer selected, unless you create a new independent one to select and fill with your drawings. Use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out, and hold down the spacebar key to pan across the canvas, checking your position from the Navigator panel in the top right corner. Enable the Fill tool to quickly fill by clicking within and closed boundaries. Select the Gradient tool to click and drag, and apply a gradient from one color to another, or to full transparency according to what you select from the Sub-Tool palette. On Tool Property, adjust the gradient fade by moving arrows, and change any color by selecting it at the bottom, and pasting it on any marker. 
You can also select between linear, radial, or elliptical gradients as you like. Enable the Figure tool to draw precise shapes. Click and drag to drop lines, or click and hold and click again to create curves. Adjusting brush size and style from the left. Click multiple times to drop straight polylines or curves, finishing the drawing by closing the shape or pressing the Enter key. You can use the Escape key to undo any drawing in progress, or Control or Command and Z to undo any finished drawing. On Tool Property, set whether to apply only a stroke line, a fill, or even both, taking as stroke and fill colors the one saved in the bottom left corner. When you import any image, this is shown as a unique raster layer made of pixels, Make sure to create a new raster layer to draw on it while preserving the original image using the same tool seen for the plain canvas. You can also apply several effects to brushes or images. Enable the Blend tool to brush and blur or smudge or the Liquify tool to push, expand or twirl parts of your artwork. You get more effects from the Filter tab on top, always applied on the entire selected layer. Clip Studio Paint also supports vectors, such as brushes defined by algorithms rather than pixels, ensuring no quality loss when scaling these. Create a new vector layer, select it, and realize your drawings on it. Enable the Correct Line tool to edit any vector trace. Click and drag any node to adjust its shape, and select what to do from the Tool Property panel, such as adding or removing nodes, or changing node types on Switch Corner between Rounded for Curves and Squared for Straight Sides. You can also enable the Operation tool under Object Subtool to select any vector object and edit its shape by dragging nodes. You can also click and drag the vector path to move it, or scale and rotate the object by dragging from the external nodes. Hold down the Shift key to maintain the aspect ratio, and change the trace colors from the Tool Property panel. To add text, enable the Text tool and click and type on the canvas, creating a new vector layer. You can edit and manage text with the nodes as seen, and click on the pencil icon to edit text properties, including font type, size, style, color, and distribution. After applying text, you can still edit its content by clicking on it with the Text tool. Certain tools such as Fill, Gradient, Liquify, and the effects from the Filter tab only work on pixel-based raster layers. You may transform any vector layer to a raster one by selecting it and going to Layer tab, Rasterize. This allows you to apply the desired tools and effects, but pay attention that this conversion is permanent. With the Layers panel, you manage all the objects you have on the canvas. Each layer collects one or multiple drawings together that you can hide or show with the eye icon. Drag layers up or down to change their order, especially when objects overlap. And use Lock Layer to prevent modifications on any selected layer. Use Delete Layer to remove the layer and enable the Move Layer tool to move the entire selected layer on the canvas. Above, on Layer Property, you can apply effects to an entire selected layer, including Layer Color, very useful to apply a different color to the drawings belonging to a raster layer. You may prefer using vector layers to keep full control over the colors of your traces any time. You can also get several tools for comics. 
The Frame Border tool allows you to drop comic frames by clicking and dragging on the canvas. Each frame is a layer group with a raster layer collecting your drawings and a vector layer defining the frame itself. You can also adjust the frame shape by selecting its layer and using the correct line tool. Make sure to create a new vector layer within the frame group if you prefer drawing vectors. Switch to Cut Frame Border to click and drag on the frame and split it into smaller sections. You can also import ready frames from the material panel on the right. With Balloon and Flash, you can drop vector objects for comics, adjusting shape and tails with the correct line tool, and placement with the operation tool. Then use the text tool to fill these, selecting the new Clip Studio Comic as text font. Now let's see how to use the Selection Area tools. Click and drag to select a region with a rectangular shape or others from the Subtool palette. This selection limits where effects or brushes can be applied for the selected layer. Use Control or Command and X, C, and V to cut, copy, or paste the selected area. The pasted content is placed onto a new independent layer. This cut-paste operation can also be used to import content from one project into another, such as an entire image. As you make selections, various options appear. Remove the selection with Deselect, Crop the canvas to the selected area, or edit the selection by inverting, expanding, or shrinking it as you like. To save your work, go to File, Save As. Your Canvas project is saved in a clip format, useful to open and edit your work again. To share your work, go to File, Export. Select the desired file format, file name and destination, and then adjust any export settings before clicking on OK. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Clip Studio Paint. We hope you found it informative and helpful for your future projects. For more tutorials and resources, be sure to visit our YouTube channel and website.